Okay, Steve, this is a Miracle Motion Platform Prototype 2. Uh, the idea here is to have uh, two seats, or two cages representing seats, side by side that are then going to be controlled uh, in unison by one set of controls. So instead of what we've got before is uh, three actuators um, moving around the seat, each seat having three actuators, what we're going to do is have three motors in fact, we've, we've dropped down to uh, two axes of motion, uh, pitch and roll. So we're going to have two motors run a whole row of seats, which is five or six seats. It'll um, give us uh, uh, more control, um, drop the noise level, drop the cost, and all those kinds of things. But what, what we're simulating here is a universal joint, a ball, if you will. And the, uh, the seat's right on top, and the cage will be mounted to this. And, and you can see this will rotate easily. What we've got to do is install some, some eye bolts on the bottom of the seats. Get out one of these. That uh, we're then going to um, tie a rope to that um, will go from here down to a pulley. Pulley out here, so the rope will go to the bottom side of the pulley and then back to these two rods over here. One rod will control pitch and the other will control roll. So um, our tasks are to mount all the pulleys, uh, build the, uh, the cage representing the seats, we'll have an inch between each of the two seats, and one of the reasons why we want two is obviously control two, as well as, as we do especially the roll, you know, the side to side, uh, uh, to see what happens to that one inch gap. It's actually going to narrow somewhat, but I think we're going to be able to, uh, to be fine with one inch. Uh, between with the amount of roll that we're expecting to uh, to do um, over here what we do on these uh, is the, on these rods again we're going to tie some ropes um, uh, to these one up and one down and as the rod spins it, it, it pulls the uh, the seat uh, on on a roll pulls one side and gives more room on the other side more rope so um, we, we got these guys going we got the pulleys going We've got the seats going, and we got a uh, rope going through the pulley over to these. So uh, our tasks are: we're going to have to carefully drill these guys a little bit later. Um, we've definitely got to make the cages for the seats. We got to put in the uh, the pulleys, and then we'll see where we're at. Then we're going to rope it all up. So I figure about two and a half, three hours. We're actually uh, going to be installing um, some eye bolts, and, and you can see one here, and then the opposing one is right here. A little tight, very tight. All right. So, so as as it turns here, it gives slack on one side and pulls on the other, which in this particular case, that's going to be the pitch. I'm sorry, the uh, the roll, because they're wider apart. So uh, max um, turn of this will be um, about 180, just shy of 180. And the, uh, the longer this is, you know, the, the further this is out, the more it'll actually, the, the greater the difference in that half turn. So we'll be able to get 45 degree angle instead of a 22 degree angle or something like that. And I think that if we don't uh, put anything on it, if we just take the rope through it, which we're gonna try, we ought to get about inch and a half difference, which ought to take you about a 10 degree roll. We've got the rods in, and as we turn the one here, you'll see uh, uh, one moving towards and one moving away. And that's exactly what we expected. And these guys down here are spaced differently because their um, their pulleys are uh, spaced differently, uh, as designed. So what we're getting ready to do is, is line them up probably have a foot to uh, 15 inches between them. Um, put the uh, the chairs on top. Actually, before we do that, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, put the one bys in between and screw these together so that we've got stability. Then we'll put the chairs on top, put uh, one chair on top, and start wiring it up, or roping it up.
that's all for now. I wanted to cover up the shirts so I wouldn't get sawdust all over them. Okay, that's what we got. These guys are out of square. We'll rough them up and get them in square in a little bit. What do you think? It's beautiful. Okay, and these will move in tandem. Okay. All right, so we're ready for basically the final step of assembly. We've got uh, our turnbuckles, which are going to allow us to make the adjustments. And we're now going to, uh, to tie the turnbuckles into place. And then, um, then we'll go from a rope up from the turnbuckle up to the bottom of the seat. And we just figured out our knot. It's basically going to be a square knot. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut a bunch of uh, line about this length. We'll cut eight of them and we'll melt the ends so that they don't um, unravel. So um, don't tie overly tight because if we do then the turnbuckles are going to be you know pretty doggone close, right? Actually we'll be alright. So you want to kind of explain where we are at this point? Um, Other than your basement? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we're, we're getting ready to put the cages, actually square up the cages, which represent the seats, put them up on here, and then uh, uh, tie them to the lines that control its motion. Like the green wire is going to control uh, uh, pitch, and the, uh, the purples control roll on, on each seat. And the idea is that as this turns, it moves all the seats in the row the exact same way. So, we'll know in about half an hour if it really works. Alright, we've done the uh, preliminary assembly. Uh, we've still got some more adjustments to do. But le let me show a uh, pitch, and you'll probably notice the, the bars down, uh, down at the bottom rolling. Specifically the green ones. As, as we lean forward in a pitch, the... Um, the, uh, the bar down there is, is, is going to roll in one direction, and then as we uh, nose up, it's going to force it to go the other. So you can imagine if there was a motor down at that end, that the motor would, would uh, cause the seats to move, you know, uh, turning that bar. Now if we do a roll, you're going to see the same thing with the purple lines. Roll in one direction, rolling in the other direction. So again, we have some adjustments to make, um, and the eyelets down there are a little large, allowing some slop, so we'll, uh, we'll have to get to smaller eyelets, but what we're seeing is what we expected. We do have a uh, unanticipated problem in the fact that the, um, the way we're sitting on top allows the seats not, you know, to actually yaw, and we do not want that. So we'll have to make sure that we, uh, when we do use our um, universal joints that they do not allow the uh, uh, that extra motion in that in that direction. So um, I think we've got success at this point. This is this is what we wanted to learn. This is what we wanted to prove, and uh, I'm looking forward to Thursday.